Hi guys, back with this old 6 volt lead acid battery, just seeing if we can pump any charge into it. What I'm doing at the moment is giving it short bursts of 12 volts off this old battery charger. So at this moment it's chucking 13 and a half volts into there, but I'm only doing it for a matter of seconds at a time. And I'm letting it drop back down again. I've done that about five times so far. So I might give it a little cycle of 10 bursts of 12 volts. And then we'll go back to the normal 6 volt charge, or at least a 6 volt setting on there. According to the amp meter, it's actually putting virtually nothing into it. Although originally it was right off the scale. <laughs> and when I put the charge into it, it just goes up a tiny bit. So so I'll, I'll give it about another five cycles and then I'll go to six volts. That's about ten cycles of giving it 12 volts, or as it shows here, 13 and a half volts. It's actually dropping at the moment. The amount of volts going in there. And I would say that current is slightly increasing. But I think I've done enough at 12 volts for now. So I'll switch it back to 6 volts and see how it gets on. You can see it's still dropping away at the moment. But before we started this today, it was less than 6 volts that it was holding. About 5.8 or something. And each time I turn the 12 volt supply off, it drops back, but it's dropping back slower each time. So it gives the impression that it's having some effect. So I'll now switch this back to 6 volts instead of 12 volts and leave it on charge for about an hour and see what happens. I've just moved the camera around a bit so you can see there's a little plug that you swap here from the 12 volt position to the 6 volt position. So that's what we've got in there at the moment. Power on. So that's using the 6 volt supply. Looks like we're putting about 8.5 volts into it. And virtually no current according to that meter. So I think I'll leave this, as I say, for about an hour and see what happens. That's been going for about an hour now on the 6 volt setting still virtually no current, although it has raised up a little bit from below zero. Uh, it says it's putting about, still about eight and a half volts in, thereabouts. So let's turn it off and see what it drops back to.
Well, it's still dropping, but it's slowed down at a much higher value than it normally slows down at. I'll leave it for another hour and come back and see what it says. So we're on 6.4, but we, we are still dropping quite quickly. If it settles above 6, that will be an improvement. I've left this standing for about an hour now since I charged it, and the voltage has dropped away. Uh, it's probably going to go down below 6 volts but it has stayed above 6 volts for longer than it's ever done in the past so we may have made some improvement but probably not enough to classify it as a success because all we've done here is charged a lead acid battery using 12 volts instead of 6 volts to try and descale it a bit or desulfate it using short bursts of 12 volts it's not quite the way you see people do it on YouTube where they build up a little circuit that sticks probably hundreds of volts through it but in little spikes so it breaks down the sulfation so well we'll leave this for a while but I think we've made progress but only a tiny step nothing like what would be required to call it a useful recovery just to demonstrate how little power that battery is actually holding I've got a little motor here I'll just connect up to it voltage dropping away rapidly motor's slowing down although to be fair it's running a lot longer than it did before I don't think I videoed it last time I tested it voltage is dropping right down That is still running. And when I tried that before, it lasted for seconds. Whereas that's going. Well, it's a minute and a quarter so far. Yeah, we've got an improvement. Not a significant improvement, but an improvement. I won't bore you by watching that run. I'll turn the camera off and I'll have a look later, see how much longer it's lasted for. Well, I've got to say, I'm getting bored watching this. The voltage is actually picking up again. I don't understand that. But it went right down to about 9.6 and now it seems to be bouncing around about 1 volt. Motor's still going and we've been going for about 8 minutes now. So, well we have got an improvement. When I tried this before today's session it lasted for literally seconds, about 15 seconds or so. But this is showing no sign of slowing down any further than it has so far. I might try this again. I might uh, give it another little boost with the 12 volts and then go back to 6 volts again. This is just interesting. Well, it is to me. It's probably boring to anybody watching it, but I'm finding it interesting. Especially this bit, where the voltage is going up and down. I 
and that just seems to be settled. It dropped it down from the 6 volts the battery had been sitting at. Obviously that was with no load. We've now got a little 1.5 volt motor on there. I say 1.5 volts, it's probably that. comes out of one of my cheap toys. And it seems to just be going quite happily. It's about 10 minutes now. Well guys, I've got to say I haven't got a clue what's going on here. I need some of my clever electrical friends to tell me what's going on. I'm not putting any power into this. This is not um, charging or anything. I've just left it connected up. But that motor is still running. If anything, it's going faster now. And the voltage is going up. So, somehow or other, drawing current out of this battery is forcing it to restore itself. No idea what's going on there. That's now been running for 20 minutes and instead of slowing down the voltage is going up and the motor seems to be running faster. Definitely getting silly now. Uh, 1.4 volts it's now showing. Still running and it's been running for over an hour. It's finally slowing down. That's been running for about two hours now. And the voltage is dropping off again. So that was quite weird. It dropped to about 0.9 or under a volt anyway. Then it went back up again. And the motor increased in speed. But now, say, two hours of running down to about half a volt and still going but much slower finally stopped it's dropped right down to 0.38 volts yeah and that was yeah just over two hours so I'll put it back on charge, see if it does better next time.